All right, this is Coffee Chug with another Lego EV3 challenge. Simple, but you could add a variety of different things here. So what you see is I have a starting point and a piece of black tape. It could be any tape you want. And I have another end point down here. And right at the edge of the tape, I have a minifig. The challenge is for the students to start on one piece of tape and get their robot as close as they can to the minifig without knocking them over and the closest person wins. And so if you're just starting out, you could have this actually be just move rotations where they're just going straight, starting and stopping. Um, and it adds a little competitive flavor. You can then start to do other avenues. Um, and this is a good place. We start to have kids start to explore the color sensor and the ultrasonic. And so just start one at a time, have them use the color sensor and as soon, and this is the basic build that comes in the book, as soon as that robot detects black, it'll stop. And so then they got to figure out their speed. Um, they can start to add some different attachments, start to give them a little bit simpler design of how close they can get to the minifig. The second thing would be the ultrasonic in terms of pinging that and starting to see how close they can get before they have to stop. So those are just uh, one simple challenge, and they'll get it down and be measuring down to the you know centimeters and millimeters so who can get the closest. And you pull it on the board, and so using just motors, using the colored sensor, ultrasonic, or maybe give them all three options. They can use whatever they want um, in order to get to the closest. So it kind of depends on your students and your comfort levels. So there is a challenge, the Lego minifig line challenge, and in the next video I will post. Um, some coding examples so you can see um, how we go about doing this. All right, this is Coffee Chug. If you got questions, thoughts, ideas, let me know. And uh, make sure you check out the next video in which I show you how to make this happen.